Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We're checking out a new X570 board and one that really appeals to me. Well, the idea of it appeals to me. The MSI MEG X570 Unify. Now this has no RGB and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of launched in line with this new beast. The 3950X from AMD. So without further ado, let's check out this brand new X570 board from MSI. This is not meant to be a review of the X57 Unify, it's just an overview so you can get an idea of what's on the board when you buy it and what physically comes in the box. So with that said, let's take a closer look at the X570 Unify from MSI. All right, let's check out the MSI MEG X570 Unify, the RGB list X570 motherboard. All right, let's get the motherboard out of the box and out of the way and take a quick look at what's inside. First off, we've got this thing. Yes, a DVD with some drivers on it. Uh, MSI, I know you're going to watch this. Please give us USB sticks from now on. All right, there is an MSI True Gaming pamphlet that shows you a bunch of their latest products if you're interested. And yeah, most MSI boards include this in the box as well. Next up is the thank you for choosing a MSI product where you can uh, basically go to the website and register your product for product support. This is a, a good good thing to keep, just keep this handy. Next up is a bunch of stickers for your SATA cables. This is basically just to label them so when you plug them in you know what they are. Next up is the quick installation guide. This shows you how to install basically all types of CPUs and how to apply coolers and thermal paste and all of the really basic stuff when you're getting a brand new motherboard. Now here's something new. It's a review reward and win card. This is, I think what this is, if you do a review and you submit it, they will send you some prizes. That's kind of cool, not really for us. And now here is the manual. Now this is the good stuff. This has got all of the things that will help you with overclocking and what memory is compatible with it. And basically everything is on the board as well. All right, let's crack open this fabric bag full of all the cables that are included with the motherboard. First up, we've got some SATA cables. These are to connect up your 3.5 inch spinning rush drives or your 2.5 inch SSDs. And yeah, it comes with four cables in total. There's also a selection of RGB adapters and splitter cables. There's some here for 12 volt RGB and addressable RGB as well. Nice feature and there's also a Corsair cable as well for connecting up into a Corsair lighting hub. There's also a bunch of M.2 screws for the three M.2 slots on this motherboard. There's a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 antenna that, that plug, plug into the motherboard to enable the wireless and Bluetooth 5.0 support. And yes, this is Wi-Fi 6. Last but not least is the MSI True Gaming sticker. If you use this on your case or anywhere on your computer, you're guaranteed about 55,000 extra FPS in any game at 8K. Not really, I, 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 just, I just made that up, come on now. First up is the front panel audio header, then there is a 5 volt addressable RGB header, two PWM fan connectors, there's two USB 2.0 headers for things like AIO coolers and USB hubs. There's a USB 3.0 header. There's also a USB type C header. There's a power and reset button built onto the board, a diagnostic post LED screen and another addressable RGB header right up the end. On the right hand side of the board, we've got the front panel header. This is for lights and switches. There's four SATA connectors or SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust, a USB 3.0 header, a 24 pin power connector to send all the power to your brand new motherboard, and three additional PWM fan connectors on the top of the right hand side of the board. Along the top side of the board, we have a Corsair RGB header, another 12 volt analog RGB header, two additional PWM fan connectors, a giant and pretty thick VRM heatsink, and last but not least, two 8-pin EPS power connectors to send all of that juice to your brand new 3950X. There's a selection of PCIe slots. The top slot is the 16x slot, and there's also a 1x slot, another 16x sized slot that's wired in 8 times, and the last one is a 4x PCIe slot right down the bottom. 
Like most X570 boards, this has an actively cooled chipset. Uh, a lot of people are, are complaining about possible fan failures, guys. These fans are available off the shelf most of the time and they have a very, very long warranty period for these chipset fans. It's 2019, so I better mention the VRMs or someone's going to get upset. It's got a 12 plus 2 plus 1 phase IR digital VRM setup. It's basically got the same VRM setup as MSI's MEG X570 Ace board. In fact, these two boards are very, very similar in specification, although the Ace has RGB and the Unify does not. Alrighty, let's uh, take off the heat sinks for the M.2 slots and take a look at what lies underneath. There's a total of three M.2 slots on this motherboard, so you can put in three M.2 drives for storage. I'm not sure if all support PCIe Gen 4, but at least one of them does support PCIe Gen 4 drives. Because this is an AM4 board, it has a standard AM4 socket like pretty much all AM4 boards and the standard cooler mounting so you can mount any AM4 compatible cooler to this motherboard. It supports DDR4 RAM in a dual channel configuration with overclocked memory up to 4600 MHz. There's a clear CMOS button and a BIOS flashing button, the antenna connectors for the Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 6, there's a bunch of USB ports and a PS2 port, there's a USB Type-C port, there's 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, 7.1 digital surround sound and an integrated IO shield. I hope you enjoyed that first look and overview of the MEG X570 Unify from MSI. Now, if you're interested in grabbing one of these boards yourself, they're actually out right now. And at the time of filming, they're going for 299 USD or around 479 Australian dollars. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and ladies and gents, we have at least two builds coming very soon with the 3950X and at least one build coming very, very soon with the Unify. Now, personally, the lack of RGB for me is really, really nice. And yeah, it, it just means we've got to be a little bit more creative. So yeah, thanks for watching.